are we replacing everybody with robots? No, we're not. But we are we are collecting more and more data through sensors, through information, so that we can look at the congestions, we can try and understand what's needed. Factually, that especially on the container carrier side, but certainly also for many logistics companies, everybody is sitting on, to make it a bit black and white, a pile of cash like we've never seen before. And everybody knows that was a one-time windfall. So the question is, what are all these companies going to use that money for going forward? Are they going to be used wisely? But are you seeing traction? How ready is the industry actually to make change? We are collecting so much more data, right? So we need to process data. And, and we have to have that, the, the data to have the transparency to see how we can optimize, how we can gather, how are we, um, what are the new technologies, how are they improving, how are they making us more sustainable. And we can then use this to design and, and deploy optimized strategies. So when we talk about um, AI, we talk about IoT, we talk about all of these new technologies, we have to be ready because we have to evolve, we have to keep up to one of the questions we had earlier, what's the difference when you, when you look at the, you know, are we replacing everybody with robots? No, we're not, but we are, we are collecting more and more data through sensors, through information, so that we can look at the congestions, we can try and understand what's needed and with the new technologies that are coming into play we, we also need to look at the, um, the sustainable solutions both from, a, um, from the carbon footprint but also from the sustainable to, to make our business and the transport logistics, the transport and logistics industry um, make sure that we are doing our bit for the ESG agenda as well. Yeah.